Matthew 6, 25. Then he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. <laughs> Let's review again what brings about anxiety. The first thing is money, which we could translate to mean the elegance of a morsel of bread. But it's not a morsel of bread, of course. It's more like a croissant, not even. But no, don't make bread your goal. Don't let it be your life's goal. Don't let saving up money for your kids be your higher purpose. Save up, fine, but that's not a goal. Save up for heaven. Now that's a goal. If you're going to put a couple thousand away for your kids, no problem. That's not a sin in and of itself, but if that's what you're living for, then it's a hundred sins. If you're living only to save money for tomorrow and all your energy and hard work go into that, then you've strayed from the narrow path. You're not going to heaven. Be careful. You've entered a bad place, very bad. You can't have any goal except of that of the kingdom of heaven for you and for your children. And if good things come to you, well, what's the problem with that? It's not a sin. Our Lord's goodness is great. Don't make being rich, though, your goal. Be cautious, because this is the stuff that causes anxiety. Pathetic souls are the people who are living to make money. Those are the people who worry the most. They lost this world and the afterlife. They can't live happily on earth, and they're not going to enter heaven because of the demands, the worries, and the anxiety. Don't make honor your goal. Don't let your prestige, your title, your name, your glory, your honor keep you busy. It makes no difference. You're going to be forgotten, just like others who were forgotten before you. If you were Hitler or this person or that person, you would be forgotten. Don't waste your time. Put your name in heaven. That's what will never be forgotten.